Welcome into a squad ops one life event. Today we got Operation Arrowhead. Got Operation Arrowhead here. We're gonna be on Yurivka. Mill versus Russia. Russia doing the dirty, the insane, the impossible, the standard Russian, the thing, the standard Russian. I had words to say, uh, but that's happening and they're doing it. Uh, Russians searching and uh, seeking to destroy a militia, uh, a militia fort base. There's a stronghold in center Yurivka that uh, we'll take a look at here. Uh, positions not quite to scale on this map. However, we can just go ahead, I can just go ahead and show you guys in game what we're dealing with. So these squares here, uh, I'm gonna list them off actually right now. The uh, the grids, Kilo 10, Juliet, Kilo 10 is here. Juliet 11 is here. Juliet 9, uh, Kilo 9, Lima 9, Lima 10, Lima 11. So this sort of, there's like an arrow. It, I can't draw on the map right now, but it's, imagine there's an arrow pointing to the Northeast here. And uh, any one of those squares, any one of those grid points, we will see the um, we will see the militia uh, stronghold. Russia going to take that out. Uh, Russia have considerable assets, but so does militia. Militia has a strong, uh, a pretty strong fortified position. I mean, we're looking at at least three logistics trucks. Um, worth of our logistics trucks and a potential a technical worth of supply. So uh, that's a lot of stuff. We're looking at everyone in the server right now. Uh, players have not spawned in yet, but uh, soon we're going to be following Russia in blue. For round one, Russia will be, I believe, Silas commanding with silent Athel fluffs uh hovis and rose dragon uh fluff's full username is fluff's mcgruffs i might call him mcgruffs i might call him fluffs just a heads up unpredictable you know uh we're gonna we're gonna do that we are beginning to get everything underway uh judging from the map looks like we're gonna be facing a militia stronghold in kilo nine Centered around Kilo 96. I see a Logi truck and I see an SPG Techie. They get one of those. They also get a any technical of their choice. I believe I see a regular uh, a regular Dishka technical. Seen Dwarf Tokyo drift a uh, Logi straight off the road and into a tree, more likely. Nuclear Potato, one of his squad leads, rolling up as well. And then we could see on the map a potential for a uh, militia, or sorry, a Russian push here. Looks like we're going to see some squads move out to these locations. Russians, on the other hand, have some toys to play with. The Russians have a BTR with as many uh, crewmen as they need for that vehicle. And they have three transport trucks. But on top of that, they have the option to roll with the MI-8. And uh, we have a couple people sitting by the helicopter right here. Uh, well, yeah, we're just gonna descend right into uh, right into right into stuff here. Uh, let's see here, Silas Commander looking at the MI8. I wonder what he's gonna do. We're gonna get a brief here. I think we're gonna try to get a brief here in a tick. Uh, let's see here. Who do we got? Dust off. Wolfgang is our pilot for Russia. They made this site picture on that better. Wolfgang, our pilot. Aethel, I guess one of the squad leads. Silas is chilling out here. 
So let's see. Uh, let's try to make a. Let's try to make sense of what's going on here. He got an attack. This is a interesting hillside here. If you've ever played Yorifka, you've got a lot of. This is a. I mean, this is a pretty good point for for an infantry holdout. And if they can build up as much, they have seven thousand three hundred build supply right here. I imagine that we could see something go on for we can see you know a considerable network of fortifications here we got a live time of about six minutes away hopefully we'll get a rush of brief here if not i'll just go talk to people because that's it's what i do guys it's how i roll 1700 ammo and now i wonder actually let me check here do militia get to build static defenses yes they do they get to build uh, they have max one mortar, two HMGs, one SPG, nine, as well as fortifications. And just to confirm, that is a Dishkateki that Abu Ajar's gotten to. Just want to take it just in case your mic wasn't working. 1,700 hours oh. I got now. Oh, what's uh, vehicle support Woo. like? Oh, boy. Liberal pundit, 1,700 hours in the game. Way to go, my dude. And he's always been a medic. Shout outs to Liberal Pundit, guys. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna keep Get out of the room. We'll see what you do. The most solid medic that ever medic uh, Looks like we're gonna be getting a brief here by the helicopter. So we're gonna listen in for that to start shortly. Uh, going over Russian loadouts. They have the BTR, they have the MI8 that they're gonna use. They also have two mini machine guns and ammo bearer assistance for those mini machine guns. They also get a GL per squad which is pretty strong. Uh, however, mm -hmm. they do lose one FTL per squad, only one FTL per squad, uh, I chicken. instead of two, like the team kill. or Russia. That's true. All right, here we go. We're going to get a brief here. Let's listen in to Silas. Specific plans are, so I'm going to go over a general overview so you know what the situation is. So we have to locate and destroy an enemy stronghold somewhere in the marked grids down there in the south. We don't know exactly where they're going to be, um, but we're going to move down there and try to find out where they're set up at. Um, to do that, we're going to have Silent Squad. He's the two I see. He's going to helicopter over to somewhere in the vicinity of the three move mark uh, and then start recon northeast from there. Uh, he's going to be locating the objective why the rest of the platoon convoys over to the two and four move marks. We're going to dismount infantry over there. Uh, maybe pull it in a little closer if Silence Recon says they're farther east. We'll figure it out. But um, from there, we're going to have the squads moving, uh, converging on the Arrowhead area from there. We're going to have in the north, Hovis' squad along the Helmet Mark path. Um, we're going to have Fluff's McGruff squad following the trench line at the Logi Mark paths. And then we're going to have Aethel squad swinging up from the southwest along the BTR marks. And then uh, Rose Dragon Squad will be moving around with the BTR as needed, but will be uh, somewhere between Fluff Squad and uh, Aethel Squad moving east to support them in the open. Uh, we're expecting them to be somewhere on the west side of the objective, but we can't be 100% certain. So we're going to start moving in on that area, but we may adjust this formation for a later grid. So Fluff's, or sorry, not Fluff, Hovis's guys might end up. Uh, in southeast Petrovka, they might end up all the way to the east of the main intersection, Kilo 83. It really just depends, but that's the rough approach we're taking. Does anyone have any questions? Cool. Squad leads, go ahead and get them mounted up and ready for live. All right. That was a nice quick briefing. Obviously, they've already got uh, some instruction going on. We could see Wolfgang straight into the helicopter as pilot. We've got a live time of about two minutes away from when we're getting started here. All right, is this most people? Okay, everybody's kit, everybody's up. Our team should be assigned. This is most people. All right, guys. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you all for joining. We're playing Operation Arrowhead. We're the militia, as you can all tell. Our objective is to defend our little hideout here. Our hideout's here at this uh, little farm. Uh, perfect place for a hideout. Uh, we got a nice beachfront view of the swamp. 
we've got a little bridge we can go take a stroll over. So the way we're going to defend this area is we're going to have Blackbeard squad out in the techie mark, the SPG techie mark. Abu Hajar squad is going to be on the IED mark in Kilo 84. Nuclear Potato squad is going to be on the helicopter mark. Lawn Dart squad will be up in on the tank mark, and the Legar squad will be here defending the FOB. We're expecting a push by both helicopter and mechanized forces. Uh, Russians in the area are known to have BTR as well as helicopters, so be on the lookout for that. Um, maintain 360, maintain visual awareness and spatial awareness at all times, and we should come out on top. Um, any questions? Who's allowed to have ammo bags? Uh, the only people who should have an ammo bag right now are FTLs because that's kit. It's literally the kit, so. We're on the mod, we're not playing. Yeah. yeah. But obviously, let's talk about, you know, if you don't know, we have a schedule change. We've announced it. Well, we're live, actually. So let's uh, take a look, see. We'll talk about that later, though. But let's take a look here. Militia moving out. They're going to set some patrols in force out. They're going to try to play defense in depth, I guess. Two squads moving northwest, one squad moving northeast. Northeast. Four is moving up the hill. Now let's take a look at the defensive position here. Here's our defensive position. We've got the uh, the base proper in the middle down here. We can see fortifications being erected as we speak. Nuclear potato taking the SPG techie and rolling up to the top of the hill. Carl's gonna be his gunner. Load AT, my dude. And this is the top of the hill that I was talking about earlier. So far, no one's here. Looks like a squad has actually moved off and has moved west of the main intersection here. And they are booking it to the southwest. The southwest. Interesting. Solo fire team, or there's a fire team here that's just expedited a more general east move. Meanwhile, Russian positions are moving out. Three trucks have overtaken the BTR because the BTR is slow. Militia. Okay, it looks like we got a spin out here of the SPG. Hopefully that's not a flip because that would be bad. BTR now splits off from the uh, transport truck column and is moving in. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. We're gonna keep an eye on general movement here. The BTR has cut the main road. And I imagine, oh, they're not gonna stay around to look for anything. Militia strength as far as anti-vehicle is strong, one lap per squad. And the helicopter is slowly getting into position. Looks like we'll be getting touched down for the helicopter in a few moments to the southwest. I wonder if the SPG could take a shot at the helicopter. It's kind of off, far off. That's a far piece. Okay, maybe not. But it looks like we're gonna have fireworks here. Squad two militia are moving past the farming village and they're going to be getting a position, I imagine, in this tree line, or are they going to push straight out? Blackbeard leading this squad. No, we're going to have contact here across this field. Let's zoom over to the Russians and get the Russian perspective here. Russians in the tree line looking for things to shoot as they move in. Hovis leading a squad here. We good to go? Looks like they might step off. We're going to grab command comms here. You see them? Lozo, you see them? 101. Heading right to left. And Appa upon chance get caught out. Engaging targets at the village at 
First contact has been made. GL's going out. Might be hard to tell here, but Deckram is behind this uh, fence. I guess he's trying to crawl to the other side of the road. Okay, bro. As soon as they get to the corner, he'll move forward. Militia returning fire here. C105. Yeah, see that. See a guy running away. Bon chance. You're low. Lozo, a little low there. Now is way high. Tracer's going into the into the uh, branches. Grass blade. Yeah, that's right. He doesn't have a. He doesn't have the the, uh, the best angle line, here. One o four. From your location in the bushes. Already gone through him. a belt. Almost dead. Oh, let's uh, check out Lozo here. All way to that uh, a bit further right. Okay. Looks yeah, like he right. saw Hedda. BTR moves in front of these Russians. Looks like we got some suppression going on here. Squad 2, a Blackbeard's militia squad 2, looks like sending a fire team south of the road. Dumping the last of my ammo. Helicopter looks like he's beginning to loiter here looking for targets. We got several AT mines on the roads for militia. Gotcha. And I don't know why the outline works for some people and it doesn't work for other people. Oh, we got a hit here. Owen is down. Skrevsky gets destroyed and it looks like there's a... Uh, they don't see it. Do they see this guy? Scottish chap and uh, assault. It looks like Blaze Assault here. You can see them in the distance. Sorry, I'm going back and forth here. Brother Scottish chap is just pegged up there on a. Uh, posted up there on a uh, emplacement, and it looks like, damn. Casualties already starting to mount here. Mortars. Mortars are short. Mortars considerably short here. Looks like the. Looks like Dorf is trying to send them from here. May not be. I guess he's just. I guess he's aiming for this. Oh, there we go. Oh, the spread is real. Rose Dragon and Frisker almost run straight into that. Those are some great rounds there from Dorf. Pretty smart. After that first uh, limited engagement there, looks like one casualty for both sides. More mortars coming out from Militia. Taking a look at the battlefield right now. Okay, they're in the swamp and silent, I need to move far. Take your team to go. Not south. quite there. Approach. Actually, Screv, uh I just caught you dying on stream. Uh you got zinged by an AR. So one and two, you can uh circumnavigate that village. Go to You guys were it was probably a little difficult for them to see once you guys went prone, but you guys were moving across the road there, and they had a pretty good position looking up the road that I don't think you guys could really see from a distance. Russia still making progress, leapfrogging north side of the uh, northwest fields here, and they're starting to make their way in. So about 700 meters to our southeast. BTR being man being driven by Adakin, Alpha Guido FTL in charge of the vehicle looks like gunning. 
Mortar's actually going down on the old position here. Command, this is six. From, I think six. that was uh, Squad 2. Squad 2's pulled six. completely out. Or that was actually Squad 4. They just yes, reversed uh, straight up. up Looks like they're going to redeploy. Uh, Squad 2 getting into the BTR. Squad 4 finding uh, Peef in a transport truck here. Russian Squad 1 still maintaining the north side presence here. We've got a... Uh, it's like ethel has got a squad here. He's starting to move in. This could be a tricky, uh, a tricky way to go here, but... It really could work out for them. Some shots coming out. And let's see, the closest position here, we've got Russians taking up a, taking up a uh, sort of leapfrog. They're slowly moving further east. Russians in this, uh, in the township here. The closest militia are in the farm and this was, Scriff, if you see this, this was the position that got you. I guess it was, it could have been Hedda with a, um, was that an MG? Hedda with an MG3? Yikes. So I got me a machine gun, potentially. Go for command. Helicopter just flew over here. Uh, Their forces primarily set up to engage one and two. Let's take a look at what Aethel was looking at there. It's not that far from uh, where we you are. See the terrain you're seeing, Aethel. If you have an avenue of approach, when support gets up to you, go ahead and take that avenue approach. I believe this was the terrain that Aethel right was there. seeing. And uh, yeah, Aethel is up here in that building directly in front here. So he's got windows. He's He's not seeing anything. Got a Dishka sounds like it's firing. Those mortars were in our own position, uh, commands. Got me. Doesn't sound right, though. Aethel's squad will have to contend with a full uh, militia squad here. Mike nine. Mike nine, copy. Oh, they're getting mortars. Something just... I must have missed it. Nope, there we go. Mortars are missing about 30 meters west. Two squads into one. Looks like they are withdrawing from South Petrifka. Nuclear Potato Squad has shifted a little bit here. Alternatively, you can approach from the village on the northeast of the objective. Looks like they split a fire team up. Whoa, sorry about this right here. They split a fire team up around this intersection. Uh, Silas, are you speaking to me or I had people in my ear when you started talking? No, you're good. Plus, keep doing what you're doing. All right. I want you to, plus, actually, I want you to try to find an approach from Juliet 11. There should be a trench on the north side of that grid. I want you to round and try to take that. Oh, I see. I think I know what's going on. Yeah, it's Jacko 800. <laughs> He's trying to shoot the uh, helicopter out of the sky. Majority standby. Looks like some hits, though. On the objective and also facing west. One rock climb south of that. Helicopter definitely has taken some damage here. Let's take a look at the base now that some more points have been spent on defense. 
Sandbag City here on the rocks. And we're also looking at the Disca position. Jacko 800 with a shield of Disca. And the mortar pit that Dorf is commanding militia from. He is actively making directions and he's now pointing northwest. Looks like two has been spotted going into farm. Let's trace these rounds. Yeah, it looks like that's actually going to be pretty good. Twenty seconds. The BTR has actually made it into the ditch here, pretty strong, but mortars are going straight for this farm. I think. They sound like they're on target. Not enough spread. It looks like the Russians have walked past it, but we'll see. Maybe the reattack will help. Looks like all the mortars are hitting the back side of this farm compound. Oh no, I see a team kill. Squad 2 has actually made some contact here, but Russia have ambushed a technical and it looks like Frederick's dead plus one. The technical is here. Oh, look at that. Are we actually gonna slash it? Alright. Fuck it. Yeah. I'm gone. Yeah, dude. First principle of squad arms. Used to be easier, you know? It did. If we yeah. all die from this. Yeah, it seems to be so much can, we can we get in to check the health to make sure we're not killing it? I don't think vehicle ceiling's on. How many knife shots does it take for fucking power? Yeah, you guys can break that. Command C6. Yeah, yeah I'm, fuck that. I'm just moving. Um, we'll you guys can pop the tires. Oh, fuck that shit. Um, we're just looking down the open field. They will use that to maneuver. The pushing's released. Mortars. A little short. Looks like an elevation yeah, error yeah. here. The mortars are like 10 meters lower. Yeah, so they saw although... That was, I think they saw us. Yeah, although that wouldn't have been elevation error. Maybe just a little bit of a... Ooh. Those would have definitely hit. And these Russians are running straight south to try to get away from the mortars. There is a uh, scout team here. Granite. Plus one. The far southeast side. All right, we're going to go back up to the northwest here. Southeast of two, across the road. Looks like some shots are... Uh, I think these guys are getting shot up from the farmhouse. Yeah, Appa makes it uh, into relative safety here at the hill. He's all by himself. They're shooting rockets at APA. I think we roll just a little just bit more southwest here. Oh, be let's be careful. Did all you guys go in the same room? That's hilarious. Four and six, how are you BTR. I can't see anything from my roughly 150 to 170 yeah, though. Um, uh oh. Well, uh. Dorf killed APA with a bur with a mortar barrage. Oof. I guess he called danger close or something, but uh, I don't think that was what it is. Ethel is in a fight for his uh, for his life here. Looks like Nuclear Potato has pulled a fire team back from this ditch to his north. We'll take a look at the position from the viewpoint of the Russians here. As Ethel tries to get his guys to move in. Fluffs with gruffs. Also part of this engagement here. And another casualty here. It looks like we're six for two. Russians are up. Got some 
suppression going on here. Lots of smokes. And it looks like Nuclear Potato Squad is gonna just withdraw. <clears throat> They're withdrawing up the road. Oh, a mortar! Mortar is landing. And, uh, they're pretty close. Spruce Duck gets hit. Oh, someone just died and I missed his name. Yeah, if you're able, uh, I can call in a smoke, smoke barrage to cover you. Looks like our rifleman. Uh, I, don't I want you in. Okay. Yeah, the rifleman you down. South and then east. Great east mortars there by Dorf. I guess I might have been Free Stalker. And that's gonna push Fluff's squad off the island here. It's gonna split this attacking force up. It's kinda sub... not really strong right now. Fluff's got a small size. Thanks. Aethel's still strong. Nuclear Potato is falling back. Maybe we're getting a helicopter pickup here? Not entirely sure. Uh, BTR is slowly creeping up. Right. Looks like he might be going off road here. Okay, we know there's enemies there. I want you to go around by one, by two, and pull up south of two. You know what I think it was? One yeah, was one moving towards southeast. To the oh, what do we got going on here? Yeah, that's what it was. That's exactly what it was. Oh, so how are these guys gonna get out? They're just gonna run straight over here, huh? What is Blackbeard doing over here? He's stranded? Blackbeard and Bartok, I think. Yeah, Bartok. Meanwhile, Killer J and a fire team trying to catch up to two here. Copy that, Ethel. You do have a smoke barrage, so you can use that to cross any open train. Acknowledged. I'll use that if I need to. Update, six kills Russia, three kills Mill, with that mortar kill. And squad one from Hovis looks like they're going to dodge walking into South Pet. And the BTR looks like they're going to be, uh, you know, not running into this mine right here. Smart for the BTR to go off road. Obviously, Militia has mines. Militia will use mines, and this is an AT mine in the road. Mortars are heading to the south here. I'm intrigued to see what Blackbeard is going to do. I think Blackbeard and Bartok are hunting this BTR. I think that's what's happening. This Bartok's probably got a lat kit, right? Yeah, yeah, Bartok's got a lat kit. Blackbeard and Bartok will probably be like, Oh, F1, what's that? Grand Prix. How are you watching the Grand Prix today? Answer is, you're not. You're watching Squad Ops. They're doing a good job of dodging the uh, helicopter, though. Revy and Mets gonna walk across some water here. Sorry to go back and forth with this map right now. Squad three, with command, holding back. Okay, I found. Bravo, my main concern is that bridge. Uh, there could be guys around that bridge area in the next round. I think he may be right. Actually, he's not right. bridge is a big concern of mine. That area. Blaze Assault is actually forward here. Let's take a look at his position to see what Russia could be running into. Blaze is... Uh, I guess he's like trying to look to his north. I, I, mm. This makes sense. I'm thinking that 
Uh, he must be considering that Russia's just going to advance in a line here, and Bartok's now starting to stalk on the BTR. BTR probably unaware that Bartok's about to shoot it in the ass. Mortars. Landing on the farm. No Russians have been there for a little bit of time. The BTR... If Bartok continues up this ditch, he might have a chance to hit the BTR pretty square on. That means they don't know how close you guys are. That's actually a good point. Squad 1 have now closed within 400 meters of the FOB proper. Squad 2 is about ready to run over Blaze Assault, though. It might be in the swamp just east of that. Um, keep that in mind, but all squads are good to go ahead and start converting. Uh, Blaze is right here. Ooh, mortars. To the south looks like we're starting to see some panic fire not some panic fire looks like someone spotted these guys and ooh, good shooting by dwarf here btr has moved so i wonder if that's going to give bartok a little bit more confidence here yeah he's drawn at already Bartok looking for a BTR kill, and he hears the coax going off. All sorts of shots happening here as the militia are uh, firing into the trees. One. You're going to have to go kind of off to the left towards where Lozo is between those two trees, and then straight ahead. BTR off-road. K942 behind the rocks. Hovis actually had eyes on there. So full, full speed to the rocks. K9... 4-2. K9er... 4-2. Oh, yeah, so he spotted Hedda, and Hedda's moving south. Squad 3 now looking like they're going to start uh, making pokes here. The Russians are making some progress. Update, 8 kills Russia, 6 for Mill. Mill evened it up pretty strong here. More mortars outbound. And the BTR now presents itself. Seven. Eyes on. Around like a head yeah, he's behind, he's behind, behind the tree. Okay, I, I lost sight of him. He went over the ridge line. I'm gonna back up so you got more height. Yeah. Okay, you got two guys moving along the road. Might have got him. Everybody ducked that. Duck oh, down. yeah, he got him. Wow, like Hedda looked like. Maybe Hedda tried to yeah. peek up there. Alright, I got eyes on a uh, SL that was running for a 150. I think I missed him. I'm gonna get in the spot real quick. Put her. Put her. Copy. Bartok's about ready to run straight behind Lozo here. And here comes Smokes. Looks like uh, Militia running away again. A little bit of resistance here and then falling back. So defense in depth, obviously working out for him. Russia is up to 11 now, Mills at 8. And... I could have sworn these militia were taking shots. Russians firing at a range here. Oh, look at this. Squad 3 are in contact. Yeah, command, we're taking fire from Kilo 10, 1, 7, 4, took heavy casualties, but uh, 6 is fine. Copy that, 6. Squad 3 in contact here. The Russians uh, found a patrolling so militia fine. force they way off point. point so and several point. casualties. I believe a squad lead. Yeah, so it looks like Phoenix now running one for Militia. Maybe they're trying to get the... Uh-oh, Squad 3 moved out of South Pet. Starting to get dicey here. Mill's starting to fall back and occupy this uh, high ground here. I don't see Bartok anymore, so maybe Bartok and, uh... 
Perhaps Bartok and uh, Blackbeard got killed trying to sneak up on uh, the uh, MMG. Didn't happen. Yeah, I've heard anyone outgoing. One guy absolutely destroyed. I gotta have the Yep. Break us, man. I gotta have the Break us, uh, Mark West. Copy that. Three has broken off the attack from the south after uh, a pretty strong engagement there for them. Uh, Militia 3 still sitting in South Pet. Russia can move past these guys here. I guess so, Buhajar. Well, apparently we don't have uh, smoke in the commander menu. So that's cancelled. Sure, when, since when? Just look, there's no smoke, just HE. Liberal. Liberal doing medic things, watching the rear. He's part of uh, squad one remaining here. L oh! I don't know where they're from. I think it's, I think it's south. Lozo's got to be careful here. He might be firing, might be firing on friendlies if he's losing his mind here. Helicopter taxi service. Was that a rocket? I think it was an SPG shot off there. Command one and two are getting pretty beat up up here. Uh, we have their attention. Oh, look at that. South Pet, they're moving out. And Richard Chipper looks like he might be the only one to tell, but I don't think he's... Is he? Oh, he sees him. Coops. Coops gonna die. Coops gets hit. Coops not dead. He just went, he just went right. I can't see him anymore. I can't oh. see him. I don't see the contact. Richard Chipper got hit. He got zinged by Oddball. Ooh, Oddball gets hit in the back of the head with an MMG. He might bleed out. And Lozo is going to go ahead out. And Oddball... Blood out. Grenade hits Lozo's position. Not in time. Something toes with the shotgun. Woo. BTR is going to try to come back down here and get some, uh... Hey, BTR! Yeah, They're northwest, northwest. Yeah, it, I did see a lap, so be careful. Copy me. Arm distance him? No, I'm let's take a fire. I'm taking fire. From where? Adukin wants to run into him? I'm taking fire from the west. Copy. Right, break us up, break us up a little bit. BTR is running straight towards, uh... Now, Oddball was the lat here. I think he's dead. Do they have a lat here? They don't. Two kills for the BTR. Great job there. Oh, whoa. Hovis in contact. Lip gets a kill. Who's this guy just killed right here? God damn it, right in front of me. Captain Jammer. Someone Doesn't see Lib. Lib, hey, Lib hey, don't have time for this plus. shit. At least. Don't run in Lib's way. GL? I heard a GL go pop. Captain Jammer, though, the only one alive here, and he's crawling backwards. I guess he doesn't have good eyes from his uh, field here. And it's kind of hard to tell. I mean... Obviously, without the outline, you couldn't see Liberal. Lib doing a good job keeping Hovis alive there. And it's just them. 22 kills for Russia, 16 for Mill. It's still going in Russia's favor right now, but 
Russia still have yet to close within a real critical distance of the fob and all right, we gotta go. We gotta go pick him up. So let's let's turn around. We gotta go move to Hovis. Mills' stock. numbers are increasing on the point as they continue to fall back. Liv takes some shots at Captain Jammer. Captain Jammer runs. Oh, there goes Hovis. Hold, 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 hold. I got guys close, direct south in the in the uh, trench. He sees south. Captain. He's in the trench. Save liberal. He's running. Save liberal, liberal indeed. Right, liberal, get in. Saving we, we gotta liberal. fucking leave. Liberal is saved. The BTR now has a personal medic. Meanwhile, Russians are closing distance in the south here. Rusty Shackelford goes down on these rocks. Wait, no, he's not dead. He's red, but he's not dead. He needs to find a medic. Oh, man. And there's still militia behind the Russian force here. Hey, where's your SL? Uh, east. He's right here. Oh, and the Russians hey. are disengaging. Silent. They're gonna link, uh, loop around, maybe come across the swamp. Ooh, Phoenix has opted. Not to take the dish back, but he could take the dish back. That could be a big deal. Meanwhile, Coops, the remainders of the guys at South Pet, are now punching into the Russian uh, west side here. Looks like they're chasing Rose. The squad, the Russian squads in the southeast, taking sporadic fire from these particular rocks. Uh, let's see what we've got going on here. These are the guys chasing two for militia chasing uh, chasing Russian squad two Helicopter fly over here and they could definitely engage if the hills were in their favor Coop's trying to figure out what's going on here I think Silas is engaging with the helicopter gun. I think. Don't quote me on that. Ooh, look at this. Silent running straight in. Oh, and a squad here. It looks like we've got a casualty, but Russians have made it onto the rocks. X order trying to shoot back here. And I think X order is going to try to run away. Copy wait. Sounds good. Like zero zero five. I'm not breaking to the northeast to assist three and four on their push in. We've been pretty aggressive. No hesitation. Russians going straight through the going straight through the swamp here. No shots I towards these guys. Right now on the rocks. There's a squad right on the rocks. You want me to hit him with a? Whoa! Frag? No, 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 no. We gotta get to the houses. We gotta. Oh, oh fuck. fuck! Evan walks fuck, into no, barbed wire. No, oh no! Yo, I can blow up three of them right now. Evan gets out though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here we go. Rose is going to take some shots Stop here. Two. Headbuster's dead. Back, stand back, stand back. Looks like Darth also. Sandbags 258. Sandbags 258. Lagar gets hit. And the BTR. Oh. RPG goes out. There's one also at the lower sandbag. I'm, gonna set up here. Uh, I'm not sure if Rosa made it. I th think. Did Russell make it? Uh, might have gone down. This yes. is super effective though. Our, our SPG goes it. It gets shot out here. Pretty sure it's an SPG. Could have been Lagar. No. Oh, SPG actually hits the PTR. Yeah. 
could be bad news if it runs towards a mine. I don't see any mines here, but BTR is now is now in the fight. Jacko 800. Russia is starting to move in He's now, pretty strong. Uh oh. SPG techie. However, Aethel is uh Coops. Coops nails Aethel in the back. Coops gets three. Candyman knows what's going on back here, but I don't think he saw Coops. Great job! Coops gets another. Russians starting to make real progress, but at what cost? We're nearly tied. Russia has a slight advantage in numbers here, but militia starting to fall back in. They Russia still have to clear the objective. Coops single-handedly ended Six's uh, life there. And the BTR is now jumping everything. There goes Lagar, who was hiding behind some sandbags. The BTR is now just rolling. Let's see, radio. Uh, oh, yep, radio. Russian's gonna be on the point. Looks like Russian's gonna be able to take the point out. Well, Evan run into more sand, uh, razor wire. Nope. But he is gonna find the radio in this hut. In this shed. And there's no militia that can stop him right now. I say that and Evan gets popped. Dorf is hiding under a truck. No. I'm gonna bleed out. They're on the rocks. Silent's getting shot from the rocks. I got their SF. And Nas gets a kill there. I don't know, but someone was shooting at me. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Can Russia do this? Can you peek the left side? Oh no, never mind. We're quick. It looks like they could. I'm going yeah, to the truck. Fuck this, dude. Enemy, yeah, take his spot. They're in the rocks to our direct south. I'm gonna take the other other truck. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a look here. It's getting hard to tell on the map, but there are some Russians in the hills. Coops with that amazing multi kill earlier is uh, now hiding from the BTR. Not sure what the numbers look like right now, but also Sergeant Jackson still living. We got a couple flanking around to the east. Uh, no. Blackbeard's definitely dead. I think we're down to five mil remaining here. We're down to five mil remaining. Silent, we have the direct south covered 
right now. Uh, they're gonna have to flank around either southeast or southwest to get past us. Thanks, Hefsky. Round one of two for Operation Arrowhead. And we got Russia in control of the point. The end goal for Russia with uh, superior firepower here. Uh-oh. Whoa, was that, uh... Wait. Was that Silas? Silas killed that guy from the helicopter. Big yikes. Uh, Koops is doing what he can to live, but uh, he's not going to last long if he uh, doesn't realize he's clipping against the sandbags. Hey, I, got shot to our southeast, guys. I thought that was northeast, wasn't it? We got a little disorient oh, yeah, disorientation here. Phoenix in uh, in meaty corn purse, coin purse. I would, I don't know. I would just stay here. Actually, it's kind of rough. Phoenix just gonna run straight in. The objective is down. Phoenix gets silent though. Yeah, I think the radio's gone, so this is a defense operation now for Russia. It's wood, just shoot it. It's rock, what are you talking about? What? Oh, that, the big, f never mind. We were talking about two different buildings. <laughs> okay. Miscommunication here. Uh, yeah, I think we are down to three meaty corn first in the building opposite. Goodbye. Phoenix Good. gets deleted. Killed one guy right behind us. They may be out of blats. Can they're not fucking dead yet, although. Someone else to the northeast. Yep, let's hold here for now. And Koops is in the open. I wonder if he gets spotted by the BTR. He's going from cover to cover here, which is the smart thing to do. Uh, Koops is actually spotted. looking for more kills. He sees the BTR. Still scanning, no eyes. Oh, let's see here. Up, oh, hold up. We got a guy that was south of us on the ridge. Might have been a that might have been a lat aiming us. Well, good thing he's fucking dead. Yeah. I don't good know, thing I indeed. I don't remember if lats have ski masks. I think they do. Let's have backpacks. All right. Well, he's dead now. They're they're fucking scattered all over the fucking place. God damn. Yeah. He might be like out of command comms or something. BTR supremacy and a pretty smart deduction there from. Uh, from Adakin, out of command comms, indeed, especially when it's a one-man army now. Meaty coin purse uh, is looking very carefully with his PKM. And there is a uh, patrolling force. Silas and Wolfgang have landed their helicopter. Wait, Sergeant Jackson's still alive. So there's two mil left. Sergeant Jackson crawling along, I guess it's behind where the helicopter came down? Or landed, rather? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jackson might have a chance to get a nice uh, kill here once Silas and Wolfgang pop out of the swamp. Oh, Dog but if Silas and Wolfgang are hanging in the swamp, it's going to be definitely here. difficult for... Uh, yeah, there's a couple wires. We got friendly shots. Shot Be Silas? careful. Is that enemy fire? Uh, no, that's yeah, no. You sure you're not shooting at Silas? Okay. Yeah, can't figure out where. Friendly's firing east. east. I'm gonna buy it. Wait, what? They saw Sergeant Jackson? Oh, maybe because Sergeant Jackson did go from this cover here, straight across here, and if he was close enough to the ditch, the top of the ditch, he might have definitely been seen from here. I can just stay stay alive and hold an angle, because if I, you die, I'm probably gonna have to jump out, and I don't want to jump out. I like it in here. We got AC in there, or what, Guido? I'm covering the whole South Ridge line, guys. Anything comes from the South South Rocks, they're fucked. So don't worry about that. Copy. I'm looking east. All right, got it. Round one of two, nearly we complete here. West, We're just trying to see uh, how much more damage militia can do to this Russian force. Russians down to less than a squad, but they still have their main 
they have their main asset, which is their BTR, in relatively decent shape. Still has ammo for its main gun. Obviously still has the coax. They still have command intact. Someone's covering at least one cardinal direction. Adokin has dismounted, has gotten out of the driver's seat of the BTR, so Alpha is just sitting here. Mini coin purse now thinking about taking a peek. Gets around the corner. Smart point made there. Mini is going to take a peek. I don't think he knows that uh, he's got a friendly out there behind him. He's got a he's got a PKM. This is not going to go well for him. Oh, he's going to make a run for it. Does Alpha see him? He gets into cover. It's still going to be rough. He's still got Nas and Candyman to deal with. They're both prone, just chilling. Sound like an NFL commentator. Well, I mean, you know. I, got footsteps on the north I try, my friend. Coming to... They're in the swamp. In the swamp. That's not me, I'm Copy. wrong. In the swamp. Silas oh, hey, Sergeant Jackson roughly, is in the swamp. Direct north of me. He's coming up onto the bank now. Uh, Silas has audio on Sergeant Jackson. Looking, I don't see him yet. Sergeant Jackson, uh, is that an MG3? Probably. Yeah, dog. It's up to you. I don't see any movement right now. Oh. Jackson looking for something to shoot. Oh. Silas. Could Silas get the, uh, the good shot here? Jackson hears the pop for the fuse. Jackson hears it. Jackson goes down. Great throw by Silas there. Golf Masters. Oh, and we got GG. Oh, a little premature call there. Corey first gets a kill on Nas. Candyman runs out and uh, finishes the job after a few shots. There we go. And we are we are completed round one. <laughs> if this was the Golf Masters, I would now be holding my applause sign. And the celebratory smokes. Very good. Uh, let's get the take a look at the scoreboard here real quick. The difference of I think it was like eight at the end, forty three to thirty seven. So yeah, there we go seven, seven kills. All right, round one of Operation Arrowhead is complete. We will now take a break, and guess what? Round two just around the corner. Stay with us here at Squad Ops. You know, yeah. I I'm just saying that so we can cut the, uh, so we can cut the video, make it good. E card, Joe Buck, Block F16. You're currently running. You're currently you're currently running my favorite right now, in chat. Not enough competition for being my favorite in chat right now. Um, we're gonna listen to some more OC Remix here um, because, God, OC Remix is some good stuff. Uh, how about a Sea of Thieves Remix? Yeah, just whistling, so we're good here. Uh, this is a Shark Tender's Hail by Dusk. And, I mean, if you're a Euro and you don't, I don't know, if I was a Euro, I would just live in UTC. Forget other time zones. Central European time? What is that? Uh, anyway, guess what? Uh, we've got a uh, group of people here getting together for a briefing. There's already deaths, which is weird. Uh, we're now following Dorf's team in He's blue as the Russians. We'll be watching these guys. Uh, let me double. Oh my gosh, gosh. Okay, uh, let's double check who we got here for okay. squad leads. If I can pull that up real quick, and I can. Dorf Kamani with the Bujar, Lawn Darts, Blackbeard, uh, 
nuclear potato, and Lagar. Right, and I think we have here. Phoenix as a helicopter well, pilot. Here we go. Uh, We're going to go ahead and listen into Dorf's briefing for Russia hey round guys, two. Hey guys, real, playing? real, real good job. Real good showing last round. Um, honestly, we kicked their butts. The only thing that they had going for them was the BTR. Yeah. Sorry, I have this stuff going on. Well, you know, these things happen. Uh, but like I was saying, if I can get it in real quick, we have that test tonight. Um, calendar what else we got going on all right stop it. never mind around and hold we're gonna go ahead and uh listen in here i think dorf is ready to go okay guys uh yeah again the only thing that held us down is the btr unfortunately our anti-tank assets all got killed or schwacked by the btr or someone else before they were able to get eyes on it um unfortunate happens um and it was just a tank apparently taking two svgs um but honestly, it was down to like within three or four besides the BTR. Uh, and meaty coin purse, MVP, even though you got cheated um, by the admin. Uh, so good job, everyone, all around. Send an angry hate message, meaty, to uh, Dash V. Okay. Wow, that's toxic. You're entitled to one uh, free uh, coupon. All right. Um, so, the actual plan, actual mission. Lawn Dart Squad is going to be helicopter inserted around November 13, November 14 area, whatever's best positioning up there. Afterwards, Abu Hajar Squad is going to get helicopter inserted in Juliet 13 uh, or Juliet 14, whatever's best. And both squads are going to push north. Meanwhile, the other three squads. Blackbeard, Lagar, and Nuclear Potato. We are all going to drift uh, east, pretty much along these helmet marks. And we're going to get ourselves in a position to the north of all the objective grids. On the east side, along the helicopter marks, will be Blackbeard Squad. In the middle will be Nuclear Potato Squad with the BTR. And on the west will be Lagar Squad. So if you look at the marks, don't get set in stone. That's where you're going. You're probably going to shift either west or shift east, depending on the situation. I want one squad at the bare minimum will sweep and clear through the swamp. One squad will sweep and clear through the area we just fought over, and then another will sweep to the west of that. That's what I envision. However, we'll probably hit contact in Petrivka or the village east of Petrivka uh, near the helicopter marks. And possibly Stepney. It really depends on where they are, but I just ex would expect contact anywhere between the two MSRs, the east-west MSRs. All right. For the squads that are not going to be in the BTR or the helicopter, you're taking trans trucks, one each. What are your questions? All right, so... Abu Hujar is the two IC, so if I go down, Abu is going to take over. And then after Abu, it's going to be Lawn Darts, then Blackbeard, then Lagar, then Potato. Just to screw with the whole linear, uh, linearness of this. Uh, hmm. BTR crew? Where's my BTR crew? That's my guess. Carl, I, I thank you. Carl and Hugo. Do your best. Don't get killed by lats. Um, watch out for the SVG. Um, and just make sure you're maintaining 360 security of your vehicle at all times. Helicopter guys, expect contact when you dismount. Because honestly, they could rush some techies down there. Or get some infantry down there for... Uh, in those areas so just please be careful be aware and always keep your eyes open and guns up 
Uh, I'm done talking, so let's go get ourselves ready for live, which will probably be quite a while away. Can we oh, get that via strike for scamming meaty? You want me to have MVP? Don't forget to pull out your guns before you get in. Alright, so there we go. Cool plan. Now we've got command comms. We're going to be listening to Russian command comms. We have, uh, guess who? Phoenix running the helicopter. What's up? The hill. This is like a, there's like an elevation change, like an increased elevation change as you go south here. Because I think all of this is sort of like on a raised sort of hilltop compared to obviously this. I could be wrong. I'm going off memory and my memory's bad. We have uh, live as the helicopter spools up. We're going to we're going to go away from this. We'll follow the helicopter at a distance here. See how long Phoenix takes to get off the ground and we're good. And here we go. We're going to follow the helicopter for a little bit as we get closer. We'll take a look at the militia positions. Just to see what's going on. I think it'll be uh, I think it'll be a fun map here. Lots of marks still on the map. I wonder if this is a setup for a uh, ambush, or if they're going to reestablish some sort of line and push off. Lots of options. Two SPG techies for militia, by the way. Militia had a um, had an option to choose a, any other technical available to them for the sake of uh, what to bring, and they decided to choose the uh, a second dish, uh, second SPG techie. Very strong anti-armor play. They want to remove the BTR from the equation as much as possible. They need rear hits, though. BTR... Um, this guy's flying. Phoenix flying low. Phoenix very competent helicopter pilot, though. Not to worry there. Both SPG techies moving out. I wonder if these SPG techies could maybe take a pot shot at the helicopter. Actually, I wonder if frag would actually just... wonder if a frag round from an SPG, SPG would penetrate the helicopter and do damage to the infantry inside. I wonder. Because... In theory, the MI-8s are exposed. You can shoot them just like you could, uh... They're actually passing over an SPG right now. Two SPGs making it towards the east road. And, uh... No. Alright, where's my BTR at? Eh, we're coming. Lotto, let's go ahead and respawn. If possible. No, probably not possible. Okay, I have my medic fix the uh, damage. <laughs> yeah. Rotor blades, guys. They're real. They're a real danger. All right, let's take a look at the. Let's take a look closer here. See what's going on now. There are. Okay, so Athel has his guys, and it looks like there's another fire team here. So I guess there was an attempt to blockade this route. With 
two times SPGs. But that ain't happening. SPG, I think the BTR is just going to take the main road. So, yeah, I don't know if that's really going to be a thing. Doesn't appear to be. Uh, anyway, squad one, militia, chillin', west side of town here. Or, sorry, east side of town, because I know my directions. What East side of town. Uh, squad three is moved way out west. Squad two, northwest. And then we have everyone else chilling inside town here. Two times HMGs are up. And that's it. Oh, no, wait, actually, there's a mortar. Silas is on the mortar sitting right here. I'm going to go ahead and fly over and take a look at that real quick and take a look and see that all the, uh, all the build points have been spent. They only had 2K build points. So I'm not expecting a lot in, the f ter in terms of fortification, and there's really not a lot here, just enough to defend the emplacements. Here we can see HMG manned by Fire uh, Free Stalker. Shielded HMG. Silas on the mortar. Very simple defenses here. He's just sitting waiting for something to shoot. And I think the other HMG is... That's not it. I think Salty's putting down Rifleman sandbags. HMG and the SPG in the same battery facing North Northeast. I, I'm looking along the ridge lines now. This could the be good. However, there is a mine up front here. But this is uh this is actually pretty good. The field is a lot more level than I thought it would be. So there's a ditch that runs, there's a drainage ditch that runs through this bridge right here. You want to, uh, do a and there's a wooded ridge line, and there is an elevation difference. It goes up and not down. Like, a, Actually, no, this is the way I meant. Yeah, I am nervous if that is an SPG. We're not necessarily trying to do gun runs. Command, where do you want these guys dropped? I want them... And we have the North Squads for Russia on foot now. In, what is that? Hotel 14 area? Actually, I'm curious. I want to take a look at some uh, Hotel 14 or, uh, some stats. Zero dropped frames. Hey, guys. Zero dropped frames this entire time. All right. Three, two, four. Go ahead and push south. Actually, that's not zero. That's zero percent. Uh, 107 dropped frames due to rendering lag. Out of 487,000 and now four, uh, 517. Pushing max bitrate, zero frames dropped the network, and I'm on Wi-Fi. Freaking come at me. We're doing this. I've been uh, making some tweaks to make sure the quality's good, trying to change how I'm looking at things to make sure the quality uh, renders in. I am limited to, just like everyone else, limited to 2B frames. Can't go faster. This ain't Mixer. Mixer's hey, dead. Hold on. I got movement. Uh oh. Wait, who's Juliet got movement? 1164 area. Juliet 1164. Whoa. They've I'm spotted them hill. already. Yeah, like they were skylining at that the bridge crest all the way oh. up. Oh. I don't think you can see that far. Whatever that, uh, whatever those uh, little huts are. Juliet eleven six four. Where you were last round? Yeah, basically where I was last round. See, someone's beating a carrot. Blackbeard with a commentary. That's my job. Um, <clears throat> Seems like someone's been eating carrots. Okay. Very smart for uh, Londars to keep his guys in position here. Go ahead, yeah. Get on the edge of the swamp, look through the he has his uh, AR plus clear some other folks looking behind him, anticipating an attack from behind. 
obviously they, he knows there's an element behind him somewhere because they flew over that uh go ahead come in. they flew over that uh techie earlier um have you seen anything yet besides that techie yeah uh give me a sec i'm just getting recording Londart's getting a report in. Let's see what Londart's is looking at here. Here we go. Londart's looking to his east northeast. Maybe he's trying to look towards the direction of these guys up here on the hill. Spotted this uh, technical. He is within like 300 meters of contact, though. Cartel and an engineer are rolling around. Yes, sir. To go to Ooh, look at that, Abu Hajir. Abu Hajar. Uh, Abu Hajir. Uh, I can read, guys. Uh, Abu has been it. dropped off within 300 meters, now closing within 200 meters. A free stalker. You repeat, you go Mortars yeah, have turned towards. To your west. You don't have to get in Petrifka, though. I wonder if I wonder if Silas is going to try to drop some mortars here. Uh, Russian position on screen. They're rolling towards. And Free Stalker is, yep. Here we go. Mortars. Papa twelve four. Okay, that's really far out there. The mortars, mortars, mortars. Someone's been yeah, spotted. I hear that. Squad five. I hear in. that. Bluffs has got to have eyes. Sure the, uh, yep. Mortars are coming down on a boot. Ooh, he took a shot. Right, where I am, 17, right in that, uh, push the town five. right Anything in that gap in the fence. Going around to the west, northwest. Fire on. Back blast. Wait, are they gonna, is Oddball really just gonna eat, uh... Go, move away, move away, take move away. Just gonna eat a rocket in there? I guess it's a frag rocket, so he's got rounds to spare. Plus ammo bearer, he could resupply. Silas sending more mortars out. I wonder if these are going to be more on target. Um, odds are no, because he is spreading them out, though. Trading bullets. These rounds are landing a little short, because it looks like five is pulled out. Ooh, Silent Squad lying in wait. Could be bad news if a Buhajar moves his squad in I think anywhere around here is really bad news uh, is really potentially bad because this lake is definitely low and there's definitely gonna be eyes on it from this village. Silent's gonna Silent's gonna be able to see these guys because Silent's already looking for them. If Silent actually yeah, hasn't already we... spotted them, I'd be surprised. Mm, maybe not spotted them, but he will definitely see them if, if Abu's squad move on the uh, east side of this uh, lake. Meanwhile, Russians in the north, they're blitzing the Kilo 10 intersection. It's a major vein in this entire map. This north-south road is incredibly important. And the Maybe Russians no. continuing a First southern approach here. Blackbeard is pretty far out there, but uh, real soon, it's going to be advantageous to approach from this direction, I believe. You've always got this ditch here, this low land that approaches up north. Mortar's still uh, uh, shooting in this area. Uh, this India 13-9. Abu Hajar's squad moving closer to silence, guys. Silent under strength? Looks like the new icons. Uh, Remick, well, first of all, what's up, my dude? Secondly, I just, uh, I, I don't know when the last time you played is, but you can change the map to show 
uh, roles as icons here. Oh, look at that. And an AR is dead. Penny got sniped by an AR running straight into silent skies. Dodge Coops. He got hit. He's got a bandage. And he's dead. And he got grenaded. Doesn't seem right. That's bad. Last time I played was last Tuesday. Oh, well, see. There you go. You just click this, uh, click this button right here. Bada bing. And you can see what roles people are. It helps. Generally, you know which way people are looking, given by the direction that they're moving. Or these icons right here, obviously you can see where they're going. So it's, that's, I don't know, it's, that's where I'm at. Russia is pretty strong line now. Look at this. One squad every three to 500 meters here. Oh, and a big, big group of contact about to have it here. Rose Dragon is about to run into Lagar. Lagar's guys are moving. And Alpha Guido is about to run across this field. Oh, bad news. We got a kill here. It looks like it's Nightmare. Your Nightmare's dead. Alpha gets tagged, but is running away. Frisker runs back into the field, but dodges all the bullets. And the rounds are coming in. Jacko 800 is going to blind fire into the trees here, but it gets destroyed. Mill have a superior position here after losing one or two. Russia gonna have to skirt around this position, getting helicopter support now. Uh oh, and looks like Mill decided to run, flee the field. Uh, Papa Jean getting tagged there as they run into the, they run back into cover, or rather concealment. Papa Jean has to get prone here. Alpha runs away. Looks like they're gonna completely disengage, and the BTR has now come to the rescue. Multiple casualties here. Two for five. Mill in command. With an early lead here. The BTR is trying to send rounds into this field. And uh, not successful with any hits yet. Yeah, squad five, I want you breaking contact, and I want you to head... Uh, where Clearly you where most of these kills are. I just want you getting away from there. Don't engage those guys. Head east of the airfield. Commander, you can pick him up. Rotate him around. Copy. Yeah, that's probably a good call. Five, go get picked up by the helicopter, and we're going to have you come back up north with us. Russian's going to swing around for a more northern approach here. 15-3, and I'll rotate around. Londards, go ahead. Silas uh, trying to send some uh, rounds north now. All right, squad one, start bringing your force east, or excuse me, west towards uh, Novo. Command, new intel. Two times an SPG taking up at 11, moving north, northwest. Copy. All right, squad four. They're gonna and there we go. Now they know where the SPGs are. And now the, the SPGs are on the move because militia have deduced where the uh, BTR is. Which is why obviously Rose and his squad moved away because they don't have any lats. Wait, can Dorf not see the BTR position on the map? We do have a mod in, which uh, limits visibility. 
You're not able to see other people on the map if they don't have the FTL kit, the double chevrons here, or a squad leader kit, which is the triple chevron with a rocker. I got audio, hey, audio on vehicle. And Nuclear Potato has now heard the SPG. Blue Jericho gets out. I think get shots on your BTR unless you do something about them. Yeah, BTR is moving in. Uh, let's actually get some visuals in game now. Copy that. Now. Hey, if you want to east, we can push back on the into the corner. Yeah, I'm gonna push back towards them. All right. Let's so get a stronghold the fucking town of Novo Let me in the Mosiovo town. So. Though. Oh. Alright, looking back front. Let's do our Yo. best to avoid a straight up city fight hey, yeah. here for a while. Yeah. Copy. Four's gonna intercept these contacts. That's perfect. He's probably gonna hide. Yeah, on the mini map. So, the great question from Gun, uh, Goncalo Grassa. Uh, swinging around so the front is towards the rock. The rock, the, our sides are really thin on armor. Yeah, that's your name. Cool. Uh, I so, can't, say can't you're in squad four. Say you're this, uh, say you're this, uh, uh, AR. The only people you can see on the map are anyone with a number. Yep. And then other FTLs. The commander can only see people with numbers and FTLs. He can't see anyone else in that squad. He's got to rely on FTLs and squad leads for communication to continue, uh, you know, you know, to continue executing the mission plan. We can drop him off at Juliet 8. Whoa, look at this. Did you disable the techies for? Negative, negative, negative. Techies sort of just rolled up on, uh, are rolling up here. They're very not caring right now. I think that's AT. I think a drive-by may be happening here based on the ranking system. Kind of, sort of. So, for every operation... Hold on. Other techie flanking? Other techie's just down here. He just found a way in. Oh, exoskeleton. And the driver. That's one techie down. Great shots from Russia here. You see Headbuster and others shooting on this techie. One techie down. Bad news for uh, Militia trying to get that uh, BTR out of the equation here. Second, uh, the second techie is uh, rolling hard. I think they're getting tunnel vision trying to chase down this BTR. Uh-oh, Blackbeard is about ready to run into an entire squad who is already in a position. Blackbeard squad have cover. And a, de and a decent amount of concealment here, but as you can see, Mill have them dead to rights if they run into the, uh, the open here. Copy. I'll go hide with armor. Yeah, he's in there. Just 40 mic in the barn. 40 mic in the barn. Mortar's landing close. The spread is real. Multiple's dead. Blaze gets killed. That last mortar uh, off there a little bit. Oh, look at this. Cartel and Louie. What is this? This is a super badass play. Look at Louis's position here, guys. Anyone pops their head up, they're getting shot. This is an awesome position for Mill. Mill in pretty good shape here. Seven kills to Russia's five. The BTR is still up. Slight contact here between the remaining fire team that isn't in a SPG techie. Roger. 
Louis and Cartel have been called out. Uh, they're both getting shot at. Smokes. And grenades not getting thrown as far as they thought they would. Wait, maybe those aren't... Are those really their grenades? So the enemy contacts that destroyed our squad earlier on was India 12-6. Yeah, I wonder where Silence guys are. They're still over here somewhere. We obviously don't see them because the spectator camera doesn't allow us to view enemy units past a certain distance, like one and a half kilometers. Because we're technically following, we're technically on the Russian team as far as the server is concerned. Ooh, look at this. Oh no, are they checking the roads, guys? Are they, is this BTR just going to chill on the road? If this BTR just rolls up this road, it's bad news. Does he see the mine? Let's see if we can find the mine real quick. The mine that he could run over is right here. The BTR, I think, has spot the uh, forward battery here. Yep. You can see right here. I just want to swing our There's an HMG and that yeah, SPG battery facing north here. Oleg gets killed. It's just spruce stuck on the battery now. BTR's gonna go. BTR's gonna go ahead and destroy that thing. Mortar's landing close, but nothing but a direct hit is really gonna do anything to the uh, BTR. Rose Dragon. Rose Dragon and uh, Lagar are about ready to come back into it here. Oh no. Fulcrum's dead. Gene just runs into him, or he runs into Gene. And shots coming now as, guess what? Squad 5 reinserted to join the line. Frisker is gonna eat a grenade. Not able to put shots onto any targets. The Russians are really pushing in hard here. Papa Jean is now watching two directions at once, trying to figure out who he can shoot. And eats a GL! What a throw! What a great shot by Salty Toast. And the GL wouldn't have done it. The BTR would the BTR certainly would have finished the job. Make sure there's nobody left. It's all down to Silas to try to get some mortar kills here. Oh, Blackbeard, what is Black Blackbeard is running straight into Cartel and Lewis, who've been displaced from their previous position. And Silent bringing his squad in from the cold. They're going to rejoin the defense here. Russia have a pretty strong route straight south here if they really wanted to take it. Mortars are now starting to come in. Silas working on zeroing those guys in. Right. Blackbeard has a pretty decent position here. He's pushed up to this fence. There's enough concealment at range for him to be generally safe. Cartel has decided he's had enough of sitting here. Ooh. Fallen Apollo has fallen. Did he just die? Does oh, Cartel we'll yeah, see on. Scottish up uh, on the fence? I don't think so. Oh. And there we go. Cartel kills you another bon kills bon chance, I don't know, but, but Scottish uh, drops him through the wall. Cartel getting some stuff in here. Yeah, our mod uh, gives FTL a few different things. It's not like the FTL in the uh, in vanilla. In vanilla, it's just a purely cosmetic thing, but you get to use uh, you get to use some map commands, and you get to have a different color, I guess. And our mod, the loadouts for FTLs are substantially different. Conventional forces, I think. Some conventional force MTLs get uh, grenade launcher, grenade launch smokes, or M203 launch smokes, uh, binox, 
as well as um, a little bit of variance on the rifle, a little bit higher quality rifle, I guess. No one has optics, though, so. Russia making progress here, 11 kills to Militia's 14, but Russia... Uh, well, looks like Squad 5 pulled off. This turning into fight if we don't have to. Silas is sending mortars somewhere. Uh, he's sending mortars right? north. I think he wants dwarf. But I don't think he's hitting... All right, one, Those mortars side? aren't landing north. I hear the mortars landing over here, but... Not entirely sure. Coops. Oh, Coops. Uh, my dude. I definitely got it in round one. Go back and watch the video. Go back and watch the VOD on Twitch. It's definitely there. Uh, also, I caught you dying round two. You got splatted by a, G uh, by a grenade, I think. Or a rocket. I'm just gonna yield up. Up a YOLOing, okay. Mortars! Decrum. Decrum meets a little bit of a frag there from their mortar hit. A really minimal presence here from Militia. There's a lot more activity here. Looks like uh, Militia have recruited the HMG to the north here. And he's looking for targets. Spruce is able to turn 360 in the militia turret. It's kind of in a weird position, but... Oh, I guess he's trying to find the uh, helicopter. He hears the audio on it, but... I think he just got hit. He sends rounds out, but the BTR is over here. BTR actually gets hit a little bit, but I think he just bled out. BTR engaged by the HMG that's sitting back here. Yeah, and the HMG gunner's dead. Oh! So is that what has happened there? The HMG, the SPG is... RPG. Hey, SPG rear shot plus one RPG. The BTR is hit and it is engine damage. It's smoking. Call oh, pops smoke and gets out to try to repair the damage. Uh-oh. The helicopter is smoking. And the SPG rolls back. Carl's trying to repair the, uh, the BTR. So I, I, when he said that, I looked behind and I saw it come in. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna take what? us... Where should we go? Uh, back to those lodges. All right, let's see here. Russians getting ever so closer to the front of, to the middle of town. They're within a hundred meters of the radio. Lagar crawling in this ditch here, right in front of this field. Is slowly getting closer to the radio. If they find the radio and secure it, they could possibly shut down all the offensive capabilities that the militia stronghold have. 
18 kills for Russia to 25 for Mill. Militia doing well to trade. More contact here as uh, Russians try to run. Oh, Evans, guys, this is Silent Squad. I think they just got jumped in this. Uh, in the field here, Frederick is. Uh, Uh, Frederick's just got zinged in the field. Bisco. Now the only one here. As Frederick dies, I think that's the last FTL in squad one. Russia falling apart down here in the south as Silent Squad comes in at near full strength to wipe out these guys. More notches. Or silence, guys. Oh no! BTR's down. BTR's down, and several more. I think there were people in there transported. I think there were people in there tra being transported. Mill up to 30 now. I think multiples died from that. Because I saw a nuclear potato go up. SPG. SPG kill. Gets the BTR, and I think that's going to break the Russia's back for real. Meanwhile, Evan... Headbus has to reload. And they both get hit. Headbus is a medic, though. Headbust is still bleeding as Evan su sustains himself. Evan's gonna throw a grenade? No, nope. he's gonna come up here and try to hit Headbuster. No dice, but Headbuster is still bleeding. Headbuster has to bandage. He's got about 10 seconds, and he's gonna get the bandage off in time. I think Headbuster was looking for Wolfgang. Yes, enemy AR to the east. Wolfgang's got eyes on this position now. You can barely see him. Uh oh. Hit busted dead. I think Chicken got him from the roof. What a shot. And it's falling apart for Russia. Mill up to 34. Russia still on 22. Phoenix is looking for the mortar. Phoenix going to become the sacrifice to stop the mortars. Is being fired, danger close. One pump man taking multiple pumps. Cold mortars. Phoenix oh, is the last real offensive capability for Russia right now. Oh, kills. Someone just died over here. Lagar's on the radio, though. And no militia are guarding the radio. I think Scrivs, no, Scrivsky can't see it from here, but Lagar is going to be the only one in the building. And he reports it. 
Dorf is And that's all that needs to Ooh, the mortar gets one pump. Salty Toes closing in. I don't think there's any other Yeah, I think this is it. Oh no. Frisco is way off point here. And uh I wonder if they know the radio's going down, because Lagar's definitely digging it. Oh, Lagar's getting shot. Militia trying to shoot into the radio building here. Revy gets gunned down by uh, Dorf. Dorf's covering him. But there are some militia now closing the distance here. And here comes Borders. A roof hit might be able to knock Lagar out. Dorf gets a kill on uh, Rosa range there. More mortars, and Dwarf's gonna have to displace here or else he's gonna eat some mortars here very shortly. The radio's almost down, and it's gonna be up to these two plus Salty Toast. Silent and uh, Kano, or was it? Hano. And it is now gonna bleep the mortar, or the radio's gonna eventually tick down unless uh, Militia could get in here and put some shovels to it. And that's exactly what's happening. Silent runs in through the front door. A rocket comes in and that goes, there goes Lagar. The radio is still here. The building's clear. And looks like militia are gonna keep that mortar up. Dorf goes down in the background. Salty Toast is dead on command's position. And that's it for, that's really it for Russia. The only one left is, uh, Visco. Oh, there goes uh, Phoenix. GG. Visco is going to end the round pretty quickly for us. Blue is going to catch him around this corner, I think. I say it here. It happens there. GG. And I believe that is it. What a fireball of a round there for Russia. It seems like they had a really good start, but the losses in the south and then the continued push in the uh, east do not go Russia's way. In addition to losing the BTR before their push really get really got momentum onto the point. And then it was uh, not enough men to keep it in check there. We'll take the score then, 25 to 42 for Russia. What a great, great day of squad ops, one life events. Arrowhead in the books for today, 28th of November. Hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving. We've got a basic coming up tonight. We've got operations on the calendar that you can sign up for if you have basic squadops.gg to find all of those um listings for events and uh gonna put some uh put a little remix of kirby superstar on here as we play ourselves out here for a little bit but um thanks so much for coming out and watching guys really appreciate it and um i will see you guys next time for squad ops i'm b car have a great night